This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at N type and P type semiconductors. Under normal conditions, silicon is a poor conductor of electricity. A crystal of silicon contains a lattice of silicon atoms, which we can see on the left. Each silicon atom is bonded to four other silicon atoms in a tetrahedral arrangement. The silicon atoms are sp3 hybridized. The bonds between the silicon atoms are covalent bonds in which the electrons are held in fixed positions. Therefore, because the electrons are not free to move within the lattice structure, under normal conditions silicon is a poor conductor of electricity. The electrical conductivity of silicon can be increased in a process known as doping. Doping involves mixing a small amount of impurity into the silicon lattice. The two types of doping are N-type and P-type. In N-type doping, phosphorus or arsenic are added to the silicon lattice in small quantities. In P-type doping, boron or gallium are added. Next, we look at N-type and P-type doping in more detail. In N-type doping, the addition of group 15 elements, such as phosphorus or arsenic, contributes free electrons, therefore increasing conductivity. Here we can see the lattice of silicon atoms with the addition of a phosphorus atom. Because phosphorus has five valence electrons, we end up with a free electron in the lattice structure. This extra electron is free to move within the lattice structure, making it a better conductor than pure silicon. In p-type doping, the addition of group 13 elements, such as boron or gallium, creates a deficiency in valence electrons. This deficiency in valence electrons produces holes in the lattice structure. So here we can see the lattice of silicon atoms with the addition of a boron atom. Boron only has three valence electrons, which is one less than a silicon atom. This produces a hole in the lattice structure. When a free electron moves into this hole, it creates a new hole where the electron was formerly located. The formation of holes increases the electrical conductivity when compared to pure silicon.